if you follow us on social media at Robotic Mower Services on Facebook and on Instagram for all of you playing along at home, then you probably saw this ad right here that we ran saying that if you have a half an acre or less of mowing to do, then a 115H or a 300 series auto mower would probably be a great choice for you and your lawn. 115H is a very simple, basic unit. It's good for those non-complex flat yards. The 300 series, you know, you had your 310, your 315, all the way up to your 315X with all the bells and whistles, you know, the Cadillac of this group right here. It had uh, all the features of the X-Line mowers, the headlights, the GPS-assisted navigation, and uh, Automower Connect coming standard. Now, out of all these mowers, that 315X was a great mower. But 2022 is right around the corner, and there's another model coming here from Europe to North America that we feel is going to be even better than that 315X. It's going to be a better option for these half-acre or smaller lawns. And that is the 415X. Now, the 415X has been available over in Europe for a year now. And we've heard nothing but positive things about this machine. So, of course, naturally, what you want to do is you want to compare it to the 315X because that was the top of that, that class right there, right? So here's a simple chart we made up with some, some numbers uh, from Husqvarna, you know, some of the specs between these two. We got your 415X on the left. 315X on the right. They rate the working area at the same size for both of these units, but they do say that the uh, 315X is able to cover a little bit more ground per hour. Uh, cutting height, too. This was a surprise. The cutting height, the maximum cutting height, I should say, on a 315X is a little bit higher. I don't know if there's any way that they can change that or if they will change that for the North American market because so many people wanted the high cuts. And now we're going to have one with a uh, maximum cutting height of two inches. But we'll move on here. Um, you can see the maximum slope at the boundary. Same as the, the 315X. Uh, the 415X is a little bit lighter weight. Search methods, you got the three because you got the two boundaries and the one guide wire. Remote start locations, same thing, three on each of them. Water resistance rating, IPX5 on the 415X compared to IPX4 on the 315X. So the 415X is sealed up a bit better than the 315X. Now you come on down here to price. As of right now, they're saying $2,000, $1,999, $99 for the 415X and $1,799, $99 for the 315X. So $200 difference, and you might be saying, okay, what am I getting for that $200? Is there going to be enough here to make me want to buy that 415X? Over the 315X, which has been a pretty rock-solid unit. There's a lot of them out there. They do very well. They're very reliable. So what are you going to get for that $200 to make this 415X that much better or that much more worth it to you? So here are some of the features that you're going to find on the 415X that you don't get on a 315X. And these are a lot of the things that people were begging for on a 315X for years and weren't able to get. First one, the electric cutting height adjustment. So that means you can go right on your app, hit the buttons, and you can change that cutting height just like you could on a uh, 450X, a 430X, or your all-wheel drives. And speaking of the all-wheel drives, FOTA, firmware over the air. That's the big one that everybody's been wanting for so long on all their models of automotive, right? You want to be able to go on your app, be able to do those software updates right through your app. You're going to get that on the 415X. Target height mowing. This is a new feature where, let's say you want to set your cutting disc at position number three. So what you'll do is you'll say that's the cutting height you want. The mower is going to go out there and it's going to raise the cutting disc up the whole way. And on its own, it's going to work that cutting disc down from the highest setting all the way down to that position you want it at over a 10-day period. This is going to give you the smaller clippings. It's going to do a better job cutting the grass. It's going to be more more of a systematic approach to cutting the grass and getting it down to that height you want it to be maintained at. And it's not going to be one of those things where you're going to have to keep going out there and adjusting it manually to get that same kind of quality cut. It's going to do it all for you on its own. Systematic passage mowing. This means that what this mower is going to do is when it gets into a passage, it's a narrow you know, corridor. It's not going to just bounce around as bad as some of these other units do and get stuck in there and waste a lot of time in there. It's going to realize where it's at, 
and it's going to take a more systematic approach to figuring its way through there and mowing and maintaining that area all at the same time. A frost sensor. This is a big one that I've been asking about because what this will do is when the mower goes out there, it's going to sense how cold it is, if there's frost on the ground or the ability to have frost on the ground. And if there is a chance of frost, it's going to go back home to the charging station because it's not going to want to run across the grass and uh, mess up your grass because of running on it while there's frost on the ground. What I like about this is if the mower goes back home because it's that cold out, that's going to eliminate those times where the mower would go out there to mow. It's going to be too cold for the batteries, and the mower would just shut off and could potentially free roll. This is going to help out with that issue an awful lot. Hose washable. Just like your 115H, you're actually going to be able to take a hose, and you're going to be able to wash this thing off. You're not going to want to use a pressure washer on it, but you will be able to run hose... Uh, water right out of a hose from your garden hose over this thing to rinse it off. And then we have the improved front caster wheels. Speaking of a 115H, it's got the 115H style front caster wheels on it. So you go to replace a caster wheel on the front, you don't have to tear the entire chassis apart to do it. It's going to be just a matter of unclipping the, the front caster wheel assembly out of the chassis and then just clipping it back up in there. Real easy, real simple. And from what I've been seeing, a lot more cost effective too. Much cheaper than the current wheels that are on a 300 series auto mower. Just like the price difference you get from the 115H to that 300 series auto mower front caster wheel. That's what I would expect to see here on this too. Just from what I'm seeing with the, the prices so far in the IPLs. Uh, the wraparound style headlights makes it look pretty cool because they go around the sides there a little bit. All wheel drive style app interaction. If you've never had an all-wheel drive mower connected to your app, uh, you know, the Automotor Connect app on your smart device, then you don't know what you're missing. But the all-wheel drives on Automotor Connect, they have a lot more features available to them. And those features, there's, you know, extra features, there's extra things that you can do with the all-wheel drive through the app that you can't do with the other models. Most of those things, if not all of them, are going to be available for the 415X through the app. So it's going to give you the opportunity to be able to control a little bit more stuff with it, change a little bit more with it, and and just be able to fine-tune the machine better through the app. Now, it's also going to have the the keypad menu on it, like a regular-style automower, which is an advantage over the all-wheel drives if you've ever had the pleasure or displeasure of messing with them. So that's a big advantage there. Um, the smoother reaction to the guide and boundary signals. This is one that was pointed out to me by a, a friend of mine over in Europe. And I got to looking at the uh, the parts breakdown and I realized that the front loop sensor goes a lot farther across the front of the mower compared to the old 300 series auto mowers, the 400 series auto mowers, and the 500 series auto mowers. It's a lot more like what you would find in the all-wheel drive where it's that longer uh, skinny loop sensor in the front. And it has three sensors in the front. So it's going to be able to react better to your guide and your boundary wires because it's going to have a, a better idea of where it's at thanks to the three sensors in the front compared to the two that are right next to each other on that, that smaller uh, front loop sensor like you find in all the other automowers. So now after hearing all that, you can see why we feel like this is going to be uh, a step up from the 315X and why we're so excited for this mower to get here to North America. Uh, again, they're available for dealers to start ordering this fall or the spring. So we hope that everything goes well with shipping and all that stuff. We know it's a nightmare right now, but we hope that these things get here in the early spring of 2022 and not later on out in the year like has happened before with some other stuff that got held up in shipping. But we wanted to give you a look here at it and uh, give you an idea where this is going to fit in the 2022 lineup for the automowers. And if you're going out to GIE, it's worth it to stop by the Husqvarna booth, ask those guys there. Maybe they have one on display you can check out up close. If you don't get out there, if you want more information about this, well, subscribe to this channel because we're going to be putting out more information about these mowers as it's passed on to us. Anytime you need anything to do with automowers, whether it's buy an automower, automower parts, automower accessories, we always tell you www.roboticmowerservices.com. If you don't see it there, Send us an email, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com. That's going to do it for this video. 
As always, thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to this channel.